Alrighty, part four. Let's get it going. You know, things we wonder if we're comfortable with, and that's a big thing for teachers because, man, a lot of teachers want to be in control, and I don't like the word control or manage. Control a teenager? I want to give them the opportunity to do things and explore and learn to do the right thing. Connect the dots, you get a picture. I did, but it's a big mess. you got to do them in the right order. Really? Rules. You know, leaf collection, but mine are from another planet. New alphabet. You know, story, inspiration. You can't just turn creativity like a faucet, right? And don't we want kids to be creative right now? Right now doesn't always happen. Creating an environment where they can be creative, giving them some time and flexibility where the creativity can flow. You know. Teacher didn't like the art, wasn't serious. When did the teacher become the arbiter? Well, that's kind of true, isn't it? You comfy not being the arbiter? Saying that it's good, you just don't understand it? See, he, Hobbes understands it's, it's, a, it's a rocket ship. Are you comfortable saying you don't know? You know, we've got to get comfy with creativity and try to understand creativity. Divergent thinking. You know, an alternate alphabet for his project? You got that on the rubric? I've never been really good with rubrics, so, you know, I kind of don't like rubrics. Um, you know, divergent thinking. Is that what we want? We want thinkers. You don't want to teach them, what is it? You want to teach them how to think, not what to think. That's where we're trying to help them. And getting some creativity in there. With Dan Pink's, where the right brainers will uh, inherit the world. With people with creativity and design, we need more of that. But then again, if he's drawing art during math, he's doing art during math class, then that is a problem. You know, the fourth dimension—the thing I always thought that was fourth dimension—but Calvin thinks it's the fifth. Man, how long have I been here? It's been four, or five minutes, maybe even half hour. Oh, half hour. It's only been twenty seconds. Is class like that? Man, I hope my class isn't like that. Here, Calvin thinks it's fifth dimension. Fires the jets, blasts them to the fifth dimension. World beyond human comprehension. Time has no meaning. This class lasts forever. I hope, again, I hope mine's that. I love it. You know, it's the greatest thing a kids can say. What? Time to go already? Yeah, we were doing stuff. We were getting somewhere. We were learning. We were involved. We were empowered. We're trying to get, some people say we're trying to get beyond engaged and get them to be empowered. Kind of important. I don't want my class to last forever in their minds. I do want it to be forever, but not feel like it's forever. How was school? Got stuck in my snow pants. Zipper got covered in ice, tried to force it open, mitten got caught, everything got jammed. Tried to pull off, went to this, went to this. We had to call the custodians, get me out. Make sure I do that again tomorrow. That was a good day. Hey, tomorrow, show and tell horror. You know, kind of giving them that prompt. What's coming up tomorrow? A little shock and amaze you. You know, teach like a pirate. Dave Burgess wrote a book recently. You should buy it. You should read it. Um, big thing. Experiences. We want to create opportunities for experiences. And experiences are emotional. Emotional experiences lead to learning. That is important. Emotion and emotional experiences lead to learning. Gets into the brain and stays there. Yeah. Fearless spaceman Smith. Going off what dangers lie ahead. He's going to explore and find something that's been done. If we can't find any weirdness, better have to create some. Create some weirdness in your class. Word is memorable. Don't wait for someone else to do it. I know not all of us can be weird the right way. I, I Sometimes I struggle. But sometimes I just revel in being weird. Some people are better at it. But do something. You don't know. What kind of questions do we ask kids? Significance of the Erie Canal. Okay, yeah, nothing. 
Again, we're teaching them what to think or how to think. Now, you got two, two cars, one leaves at five, one drives this fast, one drives this fast, one when they pass them. Are you ready for that trick answer? Yeah. Some of this came up this summer, summer 2014. People saying, what are you going to grade them on? What do we want to grade them? Correctness of an answer? Can they remem remember a date? Does that date really mean anything? Again, teach them what to think or how to think. Teach them to ask questions. Questions should lead to more questions. Experiments should lead to questions. So I try and teach kids about doing research. You start off with one question, and that question leads to others and others and others and others. And that's research. You keep going. You do the same research five years from now, you're going to go a different direction because you're going to ask different questions because you're a different person five years from now. It's not one answer. We're going after questions. Quality of questions. Get them to ask questions. If you ever try to prompt them, you know, try to get them to read a book, they ain't gonna I'm gonna do something fun. I'll be having my time in life. You're just yawning, wishing. Oh my gosh! You know, now it's, now now what is it? Oh let me read, let me read, let me read. I've actually never done this, but probably something good to do. What does this word mean? Which one? <gasps> oh my gosh! Not that word. You know, they, they, it's kind of trick them into learning. Don't leave things aren't due for a week yet. Why would you be done? Make it a game. You know, it's it's not an assignment. It's fun. Yeah, moving on is another sign of dweebism. Again, should we even have grade levels? That's a big question. You know, gamification. People want to talk about game-based learning, gamification. Great idea to talk about. Kids play video. Kids play video games. Video games kind of bring you in. What am I doing here? This is the only life I've got. Yeah, appreciate the moment. Being right here, right now. Are you in the here and now? Of course, you're supposed to be at school. Yeah, I couldn't appreciate those moments at school. Another brisk fall day. What a waste to be going to school. Man, I hope I loved going to school. I was strange. I know. But we should want them to, to be going to school and not just to hang out with their friends. Or should school even still be a place? Huh. Maybe we should have more places where we meet outside of school. What in the world am I doing? I don't want to go. I never get to learn what I want to know. Yeah, do they have to be there or want to be there? As Dave Burgess said, if the kids didn't have to be in your classroom, would you be teaching an empty room? You know, you'd be like Ryan McLean at his school and do Teach Like a Pirate Day. How about Teach Like a Pirate Week, month, year? Get them run. And when they when he did Teach Like a Pirate Day, kids were running to classes because the teachers got to teach anything they wanted. The kids had to sign up, but they were running because they didn't want to be late. You know, where do you want to be? Do you want to be at school? If you don't want to be at school, they definitely don't want to be at school. You know... Why can't kids get this in the in the morning? There's some kids that do. I there's some kids that are like this in school, but man, I don't think it's a high percentage. And then things to keep in mind when we're talking. Kid, look at he's getting taught. Mom's getting him late. He's late for the bus. Mom's been yelling at him. Got this wrong. Got bullied. Knocked down. Even if he never did get bullied, he got knocked down. I you know, doesn't know the answer. When's laughing at him? Making oh my gosh. You never know what kind of day that kid's been having. We got we gotta be you know it's about relationships. Believe in a kid. You never know what they've been having. You gotta try and be aware of that. Yeah. Short term, outside play. Long term, be better at school. What decisions are they going through trying to make between the short term and long term? And kids are for the most part short term. What's in it for me right now? And we've got to try and teach them to balance both. True meaning of school, of life. The world isn't so bad. You just get out into it. I think we should do field trips all the time. But our school does none. And there's so much out there to learn. We need to get out. I think kids should have to travel across the state to another state to see what other people are like. Actually be there. 
you know, social travel, do some work, social work, social service, Habitat for Humanity, go do things in other places and learn about other places. It's a magical world. And as Calvin Hobbes ended, let's go exploring. That's the biggest thing I think school should be. Maybe we should just change the name from school to Exploratory Center. I don't know. So, here's my contact if you want to get in touch with me. Thanks for listening.